Hi Leo, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, love tarot reading. All right, welcome to 2022. You made it. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, Leo, I was meditating on your energy and I was, you guys are just gonna be getting so much attention in 2022. The spotlight is like shining so bright on you guys. Your lion uh, energy is going to come out. You're going to be very determined, action-oriented, going after what you want. Um, there's definitely going to be some roadblocks, speed bumps, things like that. But you're so driven and focused that I feel like it's, it's not going to hold you back or set you back that much where you're like, taken off or, or, or shooken up, I should say, because you're going to be taking off. So definitely, definitely going to be getting a lot of attention, definitely going to be in the spotlight. So, and that's, that's like more overall too, not just in love and career, finance, family, friendships. Um, you are going to have the center of attention. I feel like when you walk into a room, it's going to light up. Everyone's going to notice. So not that that's a big change from what you guys are used to, but I feel like it's going to be a really good year for you guys. All right. So, all right. Uh, oh, see that fiery, masculine, go-getter energy, your overall energy, Leo. Um, also, Leo, <laughs> I'm messing this up so bad. Um, and go the distance. Yeah. So... Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there and feel free to cross-watch. Also, stick around till the end. I have a really fun, exciting announcement to make. All right, let's get back into your reading. Uh, go the distance. Yes, you are. You are on a mission this year, Leo. You are on a mission. There's no stopping you. You are determined. You're going full speed ahead. You're going after things that are going to be long-term, not... In and out, short term confusion. You want clarity. You want. You have goals, and you're going after them. Your person's overall energy is why. So they could be watching you, looking you up on social media, um, asking themselves why, doing a lot of reflecting. You could have like left someone or some person, place or thing behind, and now they're like, well, why? What? Why? Why? <laughs> sorry, why did I lose my Leo? Why, why is this happening? You know, I feel like they're really in a, a reflective um, energy, but let's see what else. Overall energy for Leo's person. Overall energy for Leo's person. Overall energy, Leo's person. What are these why questions? What is this? Thank you. Oh yeah, you got them up in their head. You got them up in their head. Look at this. Thinker, never-ending story. All that glitters and exchanging gifts. Um, you guys may have just like spent the holidays together, exchanged some gifts, or this person feels like you are a gift or very gifted, um, talented person. Um, also, all that glitters isn't gold. They could have been not true to who they were or wearing a false self mask or pretending that they were something they're not. And you may have called them out on it, Leo. You you do have that energy of being very open, honest, and blunt. Um, you, you got them in their head. And we have never ending story. Like, why? Why does this keep happening to me? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why? All right. So, but let's get into it and see. All right, Leo's person's current energies. I really want to like focus on yours. Your your energy seems like amazing. Well, let's see what's going on with your person. This is a love reading. So what is going on with Leo's person? Current energies, please. Current energies, Leo's person. Underlying energy, though. We do have to the sea an unfinished symphony. Yeah, this may not be over. Mm. Don't, don't turn this off yet. It could change. <laughs> I don't want to lose you right away. All right. Come on. Current energy is for Leo's person. What's going on? What's going on? 
Leo's person, current energies, please. Thank you. Wow, well, you're showing up right away in their energy. They think you're their soulmate. They feel it. They feel that you're their soulmate. Um, and this could be very well a soulmate connection. And soulmate connections aren't always sunshine and rainbows. They're not. Sometimes they're karmic soulmates or karmic twin flames or, you know, they could be a, a friend or a family member or a person. But I feel like this person, they see you as their, their soulmate. You could be dealing with another uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but that is Leo predominant energy. Also, Leo, when I talk about your person's energy, it could be yours. It could be flip-flopped and reversed, all right? It is a general reading, so place things where you see fit, but don't force them. All right, what else? What else? What else? We have the chariot, Cancerian energy, and the high priestess, Pisces, Scorpionic energy. Um... I feel like your person wants to move forward here. Um, there could have been secrets. They could be moving in secret or in silence. Um, or they're just really trying to follow their intuition on how to move towards you. All right. They're asking, remember, they're, they're reflecting right now. They're, they're in their head. They're thinking. They're asking a lot of questions. Um, I feel like they are very stressed out and a very stressed out energy, but I feel like they are, look, yeah, and the Empress, Taurus energy. For some of you, you could have children together, all right, or maybe they want to have children with you or start a family with you. They want a new start in love here, Leo. They want to move things to calmer waters. They don't feel like this is done. There could be something about a pregnancy for some of you. All right, I'm just going to leave that there. There could be a pregnancy or, or something to do with that. Um, there could be some involvement with like a mother figure also in this connection as well. For some of you, but this person wants a new start in love. Yeah. They're waiting there could have been heated, passionate arguments, competition, one-upping each other, tit for tat, like very heated disputes. Um, there could have been too many people involved causing this chaos, these arguments. Um, so I feel like your person's kind of sitting back waiting for like the flames to burn out here with whatever argument this was. I feel like they're waiting it out. And while they're waiting it out, they're reflecting on things. All right, let's see what's blocking, blocking. What was blocking this connection with Leo and their person? A burden, a heavy ass burden. And 10, 10 of wands, it's carrying that burden, but 10s are endings, right? But it's a blockage. So I feel like this burden, it, like it just, it was a never ending story. It wouldn't go away whatever this is. It could also be if this person has children with somebody else, like baby mama, baby daddy drama, like that kind of a thing going on that was causing a huge burden for some of you. Six of cups. Yeah. Something to do with kids or childhood, childhood memories, the way someone was raised, their upbringing, friendships, you could have known this person. Something from the past could have came back. What else? What else? Blockages. For Leo. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and Three of Cups. Again, something to either do with friendships third party situations, overindulging, drinking, partying, things like that. That could have been a blockage here. Someone could have put you in a third party situation or vice versa, whatever, with like a Virgo possibly, or someone wasn't thinking about the consequences of their actions. They weren't thinking like, long term they weren't thinking like in a grounded way they weren't they were acting on impulse or spontaneity you know 
as well. What else? Blockages. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Being blocked. Someone may have had to walk away from somebody else or drama. That Five of Wands is also drama. It's like someone couldn't walk away from that drama. They were stuck in, in something. Possibly with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone could have been keeping your person stuck using children, using like emotional manipulation. Someone might be like emotionally unstable, emotional outbursts, jealousy, possessiveness, control. Yeah, karma card, scorpionic energy, uh, judgment, all right, and the fool, Aries energy. So reconciliation being blocked here taking that leap of faith also being blocked i feel like your person I feel like their intentions are to be with you to come towards you but there's a situation blocking them and i feel like you leo you may be just so determined to get what you want you might still fight for this or you might just peace out and, and find somebody else. I don't know. Let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Leo? How do they truly feel about you? You are a wish come true to them. You are a wish come true to them. Nine of Cups. I feel like they're waiting for you to make a decision here. Because there was backstabbing, betrayal. They're watching. It could be an age difference between the two of you. It doesn't have to be. But they're watching you. They are. They're watching you. Look, they're watching you glow up, light up. Sitting on your, your I don't mean it in a negative way, your high horse or your pedestal. Like, you know, high value. Seeing you go after victory and success. They see you as long-term marriage, family, loyalty. I feel like they want to come towards you and make some kind of an offer um, or an apology or a romantic gesture. That's Pisces energy there. And then Ten of Swords. They knew that they caused a painful ending. They know this. And it's like they know that and they know that they may have really screwed this up and their chances to reconcile this is maybe off the table now. And you're not going to take a leap of faith with them. Sagittarius energy. They may, they may try to rush towards you or underlying energy they were just being a little bit of a player here they were being spontaneous and adventurous and whoops you know let's see potential outcome leo keep in mind uh you have free will they have free will you can change your mind they can change theirs so this is just a potential outcome The Hierophant, Three of Swords, and Three of Pentacles. If you're married to this person, like, you're just still so hurt. If this person was married or in a higher level of commitment with somebody else, I feel like that might actually come to an end and there's a chance for you guys to turn this thoughts, fantasies, visions, uh, uh, dreams of being together into a reality and like work on it, teamwork, team player, be on the same page. So let me get a couple more. What else? Potential outcome.
Leo, if you're married, I feel like you may actually, to somebody else, you may actually turn your back on this person to work on your, your other connection. We have Nine of Cups again and then Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone's stuck. Someone's stuck. Not being able to achieve their wish fulfillment here. What else for this outcome? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Hold on. Um, Leo, use your own discernment here. I feel most of you are going to abandon this person and plant your seeds elsewhere. You're, you're holding, I feel like most of you are going to hold back from this person if you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus specifically, but it could be a Virgo Capricorn, I feel like you are going to hold on to them and have a new start in love, passion, desire, chemistry, the history that you guys have. If you're dealing with an earth sign or if you were married to this person, I feel like you are going to have a fresh new start. If this person's married to somebody else and you guys had like a fling or, or they promised you like a relationship or put you in third party shit or had like a, a whatever that chaos and all that. I feel like you're actually like if this person's still stuck and just cannot be with you for some reason, you're moving on. You're moving on to new love and it could be. Possibly an earth sign that you're moving on to new love. It could be anybody, you guys, but this person is long-term marriage material, very grounded, stable, um, a little bit materialistic or flashy, but kind of matches your Leo energy, right? Being in the spotlight, this person likes to like look good, feel good, and so do you. So I feel like it almost matches. Um... So, e so either way, I feel like you have a new beginning in love and passion and romance. So whether it's with this person or you choose to go on your own way with a new person, there's the potential for both here, you guys. So use your own discernment. Biggest obstacle Leo's going to have to overcome. Biggest obstacle, biggest obstacle. We'll get into that right after this quick message. Hi everyone, happy new year. We made it to 2022 and I'm so excited. Um, so much fun stuff happening on my channel um, that I will get into later on, but we are not done with your reading yet. So please, please continue to stick around. Um, just a quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. Um, so please help me reach that goal of mine uh, by subscribing to my channel, sharing with your family and friends and having them subscribe as well. If you are already subscribed, you are already entered. So thank you so much for your continued love and support for my channel. It means the world to me, you guys. Um, but I'm going to be giving away a bunch of stuff like free iPad Air, free tarot card readings, free distance Reiki healing sessions, hypnosis sessions, tarot card decks, oracle card decks, and crystals as well. Um, and a lot of new, fun, exciting other stuff that I'm going to be posting um, on, my, on my community board. So look out for that. And um, let's get back into your reading and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, Leo, obstacles, obstacles. We have compromise and the lovers. Making that choice in love, choosing who it is you really want to be with. This is also a soulmate connection here. And compromise, doing what's fair, understanding both sides, you know, your side, their side, their side, your side, you know, um, making adjustments to 
that might be uncomfortable for you, but it's worth it in the end for them and vice versa, okay? It's not all on you, but compromising with each other, that give and take, reciprocity, and then being that fool, taking that leap of faith and overcoming fighting, arguments, disputes, disagreements. Those are things you guys are going to have to overcome. All right, what else do we have? Summer, your answers will arrive in summer. It's Time to see the sunny side of things, so look at the positives. Either way, Leo, I feel like you're just going to have such like a, a rewarding year. Wow. Mystery, magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. Home, cozy, warm, secure. You feel at home with each other. Mirroring, reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. So there could have been some mirroring, some triggers going off between the two of you, which caused a lot of the arguments, disputes, um, outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will soon get a resolution and solitude, retreat, introspection, silence, go deep within yourself. I feel like that's what your person is doing. Very much self-reflecting. All right, what else? Any other messages for Leo? Leo, Leo, what's going on? Any other messages? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. There's definitely crazy attraction here. Like crazy attraction. Kisses. Unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Yep, there's that reciprocity, that equal give and take. This could be that the new person that's over here. Or this person. I don't know. You're going to have to use your own discernment with that, you guys. Any other messages? Leo. And these cards are being difficult with you guys. Axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, twin flames, yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. The golden mirror, self absorbed narcissist, one sided relationship, love bombing. Some of you could have been going through that. Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. They're definitely doing that. <laughs> and the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing inner child and growth. So it's almost like, you know, the butterfly coming out of its cocoon after, you know, a period of reflection and all that. Uh, what would this person like to say to you, Leo? What would they like to say? Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. All right, what else? I kept up, all oh, that glitters. I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. So they weren't being like the real them. They weren't being authentic, and you saw that. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. So they could have came down on you. That's almost like, you know, narcissistic or gaslighting behavior. Um, so I don't know. Use, use your own judgment, your own discernment on this one. All right, Leo. But that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe to my channel to enter into the 10K giveaway. If you would like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below. And until next time, Leo, love and light. Take care.